Hi everyone, this is Ashley with CT Arena Digitals. I'm going to show you today how to use uh, my foliage um, ring overlays in Photoshop. Um, these can be used for pretty much any portrait photography, but I'm specifically gonna, going to be using them for maternity. Um, that's why I created them for. And I'm going to be doing three different ones um, just to show you different ways to change the color, change the blending mode. It really does depend on the kind of photo you're using, the colors in your photo, and the blending mode that looks the best. Um, so I'm going to do this one first. I'm going to go up to Select All, Edit, Copy, Paste, adjust the size to where you in position to where you want it. Okay, and now the most important thing is to do um, the work to the overlay before you um, try to mask it and put it behind your subject or anything. Um, so I like the color of the overlay. I'm not going to change the color on this one, but I do want to darken some of these highlights over here because the light is coming from this way and I want it to look realistic. I also want to add a little bit of shadow around her arm because there would be shadow there from being behind her. Um, so I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to put it on multiply. That's going to make it darker. I'm going to press alt and click between these layers. So that way what I'm doing is only affecting my overlay and it is not affecting my background layer. I'm going to get my brush at 10% opacity, um, soft brush. I'm going to sample one, the red, as you can see that changed it there. And I'm just going to paint it on where I want some of the highlights to calm down a little bit. Um, some of these leaves, like this one, would be highlighted because it's kind of sticking out. I'm going to make these ones darker because these would be shadowed from her. These ones aren't going to matter because they'll be behind her. Okay. And go ahead and select both of these layers, right click and merge layers, not merge visible, visible just merge the layers together. Um, and I'm going to create a little bit of blur on the overlay because if I zoom in, you can see that it's pretty sharp um, and I want it to be, I want it to have more depth than her face. So I'm going to go up to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. I'm not going to add much. I'm just going to add a tiny bit. Okay. Now hide that layer. Select your background layer. Select your subject. You can use the quick selection tool. Select subject button. Make sure that she is completely selected. I want the overlay to show through right here. So I'm going to take that out. Duplicate that layer, create a layer mask. Control I on your keyboard to invert the layer. Make this visible again and Alt on your keyboard and click between to put it behind your subject. You can zoom in to make sure that everything looks good. Which it does. And I'm leaving this one on normal blending mode because I don't like how it looks on any of the other ones. Darker color looks good too for more of like a subtle, um, but you if you select that one you can see you lose the ring. So if you're just wanting the flowers up there that's really pretty, but I want the ring to show so I'm going to leave it on normal. Flatten that because I'm done with it. Okay, next. Select all, copy, Paste, resize, okay, I don't want to do much to this one, I'm going to add some shadow that would be on here, oops, moving it around, I'm going to add some shadow that would be on here um, because it's going to be behind her and some blur, so I'm going to add the blur first, it's already up there from last time in the fil under filter, so I'm going to just press that. I'm going to create another layer. 
alt and click between, multiply, sample this brown, and I'm going to paint on some shadow. Okay, merge those layers. I want to take a little bit of yellow out of this too, so I'm going to go up to my adjustments, hue saturation adjustment, make sure to click this so it's only affecting your overlay. I'm going to take some of the yellows out of it and I'm going to desaturate, go to master, saturate the whole thing just a tiny bit. Um, if you did want to change the color, here is your hue slider that I talk about um, a lot in the group. You just slide this to change um, the color. You can also click colorize down here. And that's an option as well. That purple actually looks really pretty, but I'm not doing anything with it. Go ahead and merge those layers. Hide that. Duplicate your background layer. Select your subject. That looks good. There's some stuff down here that's not selected, but that doesn't matter because the overlay is not going to be there. Create a layer mask. Control I to invert. Make this visible again and Alt and click between to put it behind. Zoom in. It looks good. And that's it for that one. Last one. I have to change the blending mode on this one. I'm going to change the color a little bit. So this is a good sample. Um, select all, copy, paste. Okay. So this one, I believe I did on multiply, maybe, let's see, first, yep, it was definitely soft light. Okay. And I want to, since I did it on soft light, it lost a little bit of its contrast. So I want to add some brightness and contrast adjustment up here. Click this to make sure it's only affecting your overlay. I'm going to add some contrast to it. I'm going to brighten it up just a little bit. Go ahead and merge those layers. You're going to have to change it back to soft light. I'm going to add some blur. Filter Gaussian blur. It's there from last time. If it's not there because you did something else, you can just go back into blur and Gaussian blur again. Okay. Maybe I didn't change the color of this one because I actually like that, but if you wanted to, again, hue saturation adjustment layer. Oh, make sure you check this. See, that's what it's going to do if you don't check this right here to only affect your overlay. You can put green in there, some purples, some reds, or do the colorize. But I don't want to do it. I'm going to leave it how it was. I'm just going to delete that layer all together. Okay, so now hide it. Select your subject. Duplicate your layer. Create a layer mask. Control I to invert it. Make this visible again. Alt click between the layers. Zoom in, make sure it's good. Or after and that's it oh if you wanted you could also obviously change the opacity of it too if you're not wanting it as um, bold 